There it is, all installed with all speakers working. We got the A pillar tweeters working. The of course the front doors are working, rear doors are working, and D pillar speakers are working. So um, let's do a little audio test. Oh, and of course the subwoofer is working. We'll use our same thing here. bass really doesn't come out in the videos. Uh, it sounds good. It's not going to be... Uh, best way to describe it is a good bass sound, a filling bass sound, but you're not going to get, um, you know, rattle everything around kind of bass that It's a single six and a half inch subwoofer, but it has a good bass sound to it. It's the really well to where you get a good bass sound it's the best way to describe it um, a filling bass you know it, it sounds like the music should you just don't have the thump that you would with larger speakers um, I've got the input on the amp the turned all the way down um, just to get this be able to try to get this somewhat I mean it was when it when it was turned up you know I was way I was like negative 40 on the sub and that's probably mainly due to um, not so much this is outputting too much it's that that uh, punch 45 bridge puts out you know a hundred and at least 120 watts and that little sub may have had 20 uh, from the Bose amp I mean it we've just got so much more power going to it we've got to keep our input turned way down just to keep from uh, destroying that little Bose speaker so I'll keep it kind of turned down you can kind of tell once it starts distorting um, You know, so I kind of keep it, this negative 13 seems to be a, a decent level for um, most of the music I play. Uh, it's just a little bit more bass than uh, than it was stock. The other benefit now is that uh, that Bose amp must have had some kind of um, crossover in it that limited the bass going to the door speakers because um, I'm getting a lot more bass out of the door speakers too uh, where I wasn't getting much before so that's also helping and uh, if we end up at one point or one day down the road uh, blowing the Bose sub I've already got a
got one picked out that I would like to replace it with. Uh, I just don't know if it'll fit. It's a six and a half. Supposedly the bow sub is also a six and a half, but this one is a monster six and a half inch subwoofer. It's very deep and it has a huge magnet. So I don't know if it'll fit in the stock box. Is the only deal. So uh, overall, though, I'm very happy with the install and the uh, way everything turned out. The sound of it it sounds a whole lot better than uh, than stock. I would say the best sound upgrade though was the speakers themselves and the head unit definitely helped um, but I immediately noticed the bigger difference I guess going from the stock Bose speakers with the stock Bose uh, radio and amp and everything to aftermarket speakers with the stock uh, amp and radio but uh, main reason I got the head unit was for the uh, more features and the uh, integration with uh, CarPlay and all that so uh, that was the main reason for the for that not so much sound quality but I do uh, notice quite a bit of more I guess everything is clearer, plus, you know, just being able to have a better equalizer. I haven't messed with any of this at all as far as uh, setting up the EQ or um, any of this stuff. Uh, front focus, position, all this stuff is pretty much at the stock settings. And so I'll have to mess with that and see, you know, everything here and... Uh, see what I can do as far as uh, even improving the sound even more but it does sound better with this head unit the speakers definitely seem to be uh, getting more power no idea what the, the uh, Bose amp puts out but definitely seems to drive the uh, speakers better I think this is 50 watts a channel uh, 4 ohm so uh, it's not a whole lot, but it's better than most uh, stock systems. So anyway, there it is. So it's a long series. I think we'll leave off for now. Um, I do need to put a rear view camera in here and uh, may do a front camera. Also need to uh, the audio cable that I used to go from here down to my DVD player. Evidently the pinout's different on that three and a half millimeter plug because it's not working. Uh, so when I pulled the radio out to uh, redo the or add these other speaker wires, I just unplugged that cable because it was not working like it should. The, um, it was distorted audio and no video and after doing some more research it turns out Kenwood kind of has a proprietary plug for that so with a different pin out than most of those cords uh, the one I had I think was from my old video camera so we'll have to order one of those and we'll put that in and we'll put the rear view camera and I think after those two things it'll be pretty much done but those are going to come later on so anyway thanks for watching